Welcome back to video number 11. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and add CSS to our faculty.php page. So even though we have not created the style sheet yet, I first just wanna add it to our HTML head tags on our faculty.php page. So where's our head tags? Right here. Okay, we're already in the perfect spot. So let's go ahead and create the link. Link ref, that's not how you spell it, ref. And give it some quotations. And I believe our folder was called CSS? Yeah, CSS. Uh-oh. Yep, there's nothing in it yet. CSS, and then just go ahead and call it anything you want. You can call it your name. Style is pretty common. I'm just going to call it style.css. Media. I want this to be fit for all. What am I forgetting? Rel equals style sheet. Let the browser know what exactly it is. And what type is this? It's not JavaScript, it is CSS. Something like that. And we close it out like that because link tags and image tags, we don't need closing HTML tags. We just need to put that in there. Okay, so let's open up our text editor. Let me click on new, or if you know the keyboard shortcut. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this right now. And what did I call it? I called it style.css. Style.css in our CSS folder inside our Village Park root folder, CSS. Okay, that should work. Okay, now let's start typing some CSS. And you could either, I, I want to do this whole video last time because last time, the last video I just, um, copied and pasted all my my HTML tags and plugged them right in. I think I might have lost some of you. So I'm just going to go ahead and go slow and go through this, CS, this CSS style sheet. And you can do the CSS style sheet however you want it. If you want to add a, um, you know, a CSS reset file up at the top, go ahead and find one now and plug it in. If not, if you just want to follow along, that's fine with me too. So let's go ahead and start creating some universal CSS. And we'll give it a height of 100% and a width of 100% because I want to use percentages and not pixels to make our page a lot more responsive. And if you don't know what responsive means, that means if you grab your browser and you stretch it apart, everything's still going to maintain the same CSS. Here, I'll give you an example. Actually, I can't give you an example because we haven't created this yet. But responsive means like if you minimize a browser or you shrink it or you grab it and stretch it in width or crunch it down in height, you're still going to get all your stuff still there and it's not going to get all scattered because if we did pixels right now, it would not be responsive. But we did like 900 pixels in width, that would be the opposite of responsive. So just bear with me. Let me get this body. What do I want? I want a width of 100 percent I want a height again of 100 better safe than sorry I want a margin of zero on all four sides padding Can I close that out padding we'll go zero px doo -doo -doo. border I don't want a border I'm not gonna add anything right now but um, font family, we'll go with Arial, and for some reason if the browser cannot read Arial, we'll go with Sans Serif as a backup default, if I can ever learn how to spell correctly. And the background, I'll just keep it white. You could either type F three times or F six times. If the color, if the hex color is the exact same thing the whole time, you only need to do the first three. So I'll do font size because I'm going to be working with M's later. And I want to distinguish a fart si font size and I'll do 12 and a line height of, I don't know, 10 pixels looks cool. Okay. And what did we title, title our header? I think it was just header. header and let's go ahead and give this a height of I don't know 85 pixels give it a margin 
of zero pixels padding zero pixels text align I want to bring it to the left jump in the gun left and I'll give this a different background because our main contents all gonna be white I'll give this a background of that cool 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 neon orange that I like f800 and okay and let's go give our header h1 it would be in the last video I think I had this set to h2 like this but I didn't like that because it's not big enough so go ahead and just erase this really quick on your faculty.php page and where your title is or where your where your h1 is inside your header tag just change that to an h1 I think it's gonna look better so let's work on that now header h1 and what do we want to do? I want to give it a padding of 1M. And if you don't know what an M is, it's the exact 1M. It, again, it goes with the responsive idea. So 1M is the exact same size as your font. So 1M is equivalent to 12 pixels right now. If we wanted to be 2Ms, it would be 24 pixels. And this would be what 36, 36 pixels. So your Ms are based off your font size. My padding, that's fine. 12 pixels is cool. Margin of zero. And I'm going to give this a color of white because we have a background of orange. So white would look good here. Never use white for a font color if your background is white because it's going to look like nothing showed up. Okay, what else do we want to do? I want to do uh, content. Do, do, do. Again, we'll go margin zero pixels, padding top, and go 15, I'll go 10. Height, this doesn't really matter, but I'll just give it like 500, I'll give it 400. And let's give it a width of 100%. And I'll give it a background of a light off-white color. And this is EEE1B9. And what else do I want to do? I want to do, I guess I can do, since we created a footer tag, let's go ahead and just utilize it. So we'll give it a height of 1 EM. So again, it's really just 12 pixels, in case you didn't catch that. A margin, 0 pixels. Again, if we created a CSS reset file, we wouldn't have to do the margin and height, or we wouldn't have to do the margin and padding 0 pixels for every CSS that we create. But we did not do that. We're taking the long way home. Padding, we'll give it another 12 pixels. Text align. I will just put this in the center so it looks a little bit more formal and we'll give this the color of black which probably isn't going to do anything because it was going to be black anyways so let's go ahead and open this up and let's find nope localhost forward slash village park forward slash faculty dot php that doesn't look that bad. That looks way better than what we had before. So we got our village park up here and we got that cool background. And then for our body, we have this kind of off-white kind of beige. And then down here, we've got our footer tags. So hopefully you guys are following along. Uh, good luck to all of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.